Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. The lengthy post tandem for him, Jackson and Adams. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Conchar in at the three. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. And the Grizzlies leading by 13. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Comes up empty down low. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Dallas. And Hardaway gets it to go. Boy, Hardaway Jr. off the bounce, the rise and fire. That's pretty. Memphis has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Morant against Doncic. Yeah, easy call. Luka Doncic. First personal foul. First team. The Grizzlies shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Line for your Grizzlies. John Morant. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Morant. Now an all-NBA caliber talent, Morant still feels like he has room to improve. All three throws, good from Morant. Here's Irving. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Here's Doncic. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. Memphis leading by 12. Morant outside. Hiding the lane. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. The Grizzlies have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. John Morant, one shot. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Morant. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Doncic outside. Over Bain. A nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 14. That's a high percentage look for Luka Doncic. He is a menace if he gets that deep. Jackson a screen on Doncic. Here's Morant. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Doncic against Morant. Now, here's Doncic. Tight defense on him. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got 16. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. The pass to Concho. Bain with a screen on Doncic. Morant drives in. Adams. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Adams has got his second bucket. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Morant against Doncic. 
Morant passes to Adams, and Adams with the slam. Well, Steven Adams is a formidable presence on the interior. Nice finish. Dallas calls. Timeout. Let's take a look at last year's leading shot blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Jaron Jackson, number one. It happened so often. I'd say to myself, there's no way he can get to that shot. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and it go down as another block. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Outside Irving. Powell sets a screen for Irving. Goes back up and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Moran kicks to Jackson. Irving against Bain. And he gets it to go. Bain's got 10 points. But you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Irving finds Doncic in the corner. Hardaway with it. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Passes it to Morant. Back to Conchar. Morant drives in. Here's Payne. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Looking now at some numbers for Jackson. Coming off a terrific season. Averaged 18 points per and six rebounds. And you talk about defensive presence. He's the real difference maker on that end. Yeah, he's always somewhere around the ball, finding ways to help his team by shutting down the opponents. And the first one at the line is good. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And Bain drops them both. An average trail by 17. Now, here is Irving. He's got 14. Dishes it to Hardaway. Williams a screen. Hardaway passes to Williams. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on Jaron Jackson. You know, Doris, guys like Grant Williams are so vital to the success of the team. He doesn't get too greedy, does he? No, Kevin, and the key for role players is being willing to star in your role nightly. For Grant, he knows what that means. He's got to be versatile defensively, and he's got to knock down open shots. He's willing to do both at a high level. That's good from Williams. Both free throws good for Williams. And the NBA doors had in conference finals awards not long ago. Uh, I think both you and I felt it was a nice addition. Oh, my goodness. Given what's at stake, it makes perfect sense. And they picked the perfect players to name the awards after. Larry Bird and Magic Johnson embody what those awards are about. It was perfection. Now, here's Doncic. 18 points for him. The kick out to Williams. Six to shoot. The dish to Hardaway. Count that one. Hardaway has got five points now this quarter. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situations. Morant outside. Tries again. He gets it in there. 
Moran's got 29 in the game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Doncic, no good. And the Grizzlies leading by 15. Bain kicks to Morant. Driving in, and he goes right over Dwight Powell and slams it down. And what a show Morant is putting on. Every time he touches the ball, you feel like he's going to score. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's Irving. He's got 14. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body and angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook, thanks to the report. Here's Bain following the three-point basket by Dallas. Outside Jackson. He dishes it to Morant. Let's a floater go. Five to shoot. And he drives in. It's good. Morant's got 11 points in the quarter. And focus there from Morant. He just takes them all off and stays locked in on the basket. Williams has a screen for Irving. Doncic against Bain. Doncic dishes to Powell. Back to Doncic. Lots of room. And Bain pulls it down. Bain's got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Morant. 33 points for him. Jackson in the corner. Off target with his three. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now, here's Doncic. 18 points for him. In the corner, Irving with it. Hardaway from outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Memphis. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. Now, here's Doncic. Inside, it's stolen by Adams, and it's Memphis on the break. Here's Conchar, and there's a nice one-handed slam. Yeah, Stephen Adams' instinct is to pass it first, and what instincts he has. Wow, pretty play. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Jones with it. He has yet to score outside Curry. Over in the corner, Doncic. No good again that time. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Here's Payne. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. A moment to check out Luka Doncic here. Last season, he played outstanding. Second in scoring. And he was also among the top 20 in steals. That ability is more unique than folks realize. Very valuable defensively. And seeing what he did last year, just blowing up the defensive schemes designed to keep him under control, man. As you said, second best scorer in the league. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Now, here's Doncic. After the miss from Desmond Bain. And yes, it's good. Hardaway has got nine. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. And Adams now top of the key. A kick out to Bain. 
cranes it from beyond the arc. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. With this break in the action, we can show you the teams that had the most rebounds last season. Second, the Grizzlies. Well, they made a huge commitment to rebounding last year, and it showed in the numbers. They were spectacular. And the Grizzlies leading by 22. Smart deciding where to go with it. To the middle. And it's Barant. That time on the assist by Bain. And now that's 35 points for John Morant. Smart against Hardaway. Outside Curry. Jones with the screen on Morant. It's Curry outside. Hits the three-point bomb. Curry's got his third basket of the night right there. This guy doesn't need a whole lot of space, right? Seth Curry's so good at finding his window as a pick-and-roll basketball player. Outside, smart. Morant against Curry. Crosses over. And it's Morant missing. Mavericks trail by 21. Here's Doncic. And Bain pulls it down. Bain's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Well, that's just inconsistency for him. And it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Just as quick as anyone in this league, Morant can seemingly get to the hole at will. Kleba sets the screen for Hardaway. No good that time. Good work defensively by Smart. And the Grizzlies leading by 23. Morant outside. He kicks it to Adams. Pass to Morant. There's 48 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Tillman. And he makes that one. Tillman's got nine. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Doncic, no good. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Curry against Morant. Outside, smart. From past the arc. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Curry passes to Doncic. Shoots over Morant. Dallas, no good that time either. Puts up a deep three. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Grizzlies out in front. Just dominating this one. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. You know, they get wide open looks. They feel like this is a shoot around right now. We got to stay in their body. They're just getting shots at the shot. Wide open shots. And our shots are all contested. Jason Kidd not very happy there, as you can tell, pointing somewhat to the effort of his guys and the lack of it uh, that they're giving on the floor right now. Yeah, I mean, they're not being serious about it. Missing assignments, losing focus, that's not how you're going to get it done. And there have been... Two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Jones is out there with Green. Then it's Curry. 
Then there's Grant Williams. And it's Irving in at the two. We've seen a few play in tournaments already, Doris. I like it. How do you like it? I absolutely love, Kevin, that it has emphasized success in the regular season. A huge difference between a six seed and a seven seed. So you give teams something to play for so much further into the year. Obviously, you give more teams more hope. It has been perfect. First free throw is good. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Rose comes in for Josh Christopher. And both free throws good for Williams. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Clark up top. Outside Rose. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Pass to Williams. Curry against Kinnar. Outside Irving. Rebounded by Smart. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And slam dunk by Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Outside Irving. Over Rhodes. And he can't bank that one in. The Grizzlies have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Mavericks with the rebound. Williams has got rebound number eight now on the night. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Green, and it's Green with the jam. See, Kyrie never hesitates. As soon as he sees that open man, boy, it is on time. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Outside Rose. And the pass to Jackson. Over Jones. And there's Jackson on the assist by Rose. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Serving a screen on Smart. Outside Jones. On the wing, Irving. Let's the three fly, drills the three-pointer. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. The Grizzlies have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Rose surveying the D. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Irving against Smart. Here's Curry. They kick it out to Green. Let's it go with a three. It's Clark with the rebound. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. Sinks the three-pointer. This, folks, is what a pure shooter looks like. Luke Gennard, so good from range. Irving dishes to Jones. Passes it to Curry. Back to Jones. Pass to Irving. Williams, a screen on Rose. Irving for three. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got eight rebounds in this game. Smart against Curry. Outside Rose, pass to Clark. In the corner, Smart with it. Outside Rose. Misses the three. Dallas has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Irving on target from 13 feet. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. Gets in the paint and drains it. Kyrie Irving, show off that touch. Here's Rose. The teardrop falls in. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. 
Williams sends a screen for Curry. The feed to Williams. Outside for Curry. Dishes to Jones. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Grizzlies have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Jackson, a screen on Irving. Rose finds Jackson. It's stolen by Jones. And now here comes Jones leading the break, and Green slams it in. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Great D that time from Irving. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. There's the pass to Jones. Irving against Smart. Irving kicks to Green. Off target from three-point range. And the Grizzlies leading by 23 to the paint. Jackson from long range. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. And the NBA Doris removing the limit on the number of Supermax contracts that one team can have. Why is that? Well, I think some teams on course to have three Supermax guys, just the way their players are growing, and the league opted for more nuanced ways to discourage big payrolls. first free throw is good. I think one of the things you have to be in awe of is how creative and how elusive Kyrie Irving is to deal with when he's cooking offensively. This guy truly a remarkable talent. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Steven Adams he's checked in for Jackson. Conchar comes in for Luke Kennard. Baines checked in for Derrick Rose. And it's Morant in for Smart. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. With the drive, and he banks in the lane. Morant's got 39. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Irving misses. And the Grizzlies leading by 23. Bain drives in. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. At the line for Memphis, Desmond Bain. Two shots. First one falls for him. And when it comes to the Battle of Los Angeles, DB, is it fair to say this is still a Lakers town first and foremost? Oh, Kev, I don't think there's any question about that. Now, the Clippers have obviously been much more competitive and better as late. And you have to wonder, what is the influence of the new Clipper arena? Does that sort of carve their own niche in the greater Los Angeles area? Dallas has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Passes it to Hardaway. Over Conchon. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Doncic against Morant. Outside, Bain. Adams down low. Clark kicks to Morant. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Irving looking over the floor. Powell and the dunk by Powell. You have got to commend Powell on his positioning. I'll tell you, he buries himself deep, and he's going to Sky for that slam dunk. Bain with a screen on Doncic. Morant passes to Bain. 
Adams with it, covered by Irving. Morant with a wide open look. A kick out to Bain. And another miss by Memphis. Mavericks trail by 21. Stripped it away. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Throws down the breakaway jam. And what started it all? Terrific anticipation on the defensive end. And that's exactly how you get yourself into transition. The gamble pays off. Now here's Irving. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Morant. We know the scoring in the league, Doris, has been on the uptick this era. Do you see that trend continuing? It's hard to imagine, Kevin, that it won't, unless the league makes an adjustment to bring a little bit more defense back into play. That is something you've heard Steve Kerr talk about. Have we tilted the scales too much to favor the offense? We'll see what happens. Memphis leading by 23. To the inside. Here's Adams. That shot no good. Great D that time from Powell. Doncic against Bain. Doncic no good. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Now here's Morant for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Powell's got eight rebounds in this game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the rejection by Clark. Morant against Doncic. And he takes the feed in stride and sends it home. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Dallas calls timeout. present our New Balance player of the game, John Morant. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up, and that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Dallas has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Curry. Here's Hardy from the stripe, and it's good. Two points. Hardy's got his first bucket in this one. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Smart passes to Kennard. Two minutes remaining of the game. Drives to the hoop. Mavericks with the rebound. 153 left in the game. Smart against Curry. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Hardy. Down to five on the shot clock. And the wide open shot from Green. Buries it from three point range. Green's got seven points for the quarter. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. And they call an illegal screen here. The Clutch Player Award debuted in 2023. Doris, what do you think of that honor? Yeah, I think it's a great way to find more unique aspects of the game to celebrate. Listen, players have specialties beyond just box scores. And that sort of thing deserves to be recognized. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Grizzlies. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And ever win in port, and this one will go down as win number three. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more 
of one another before the season's over. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for John Moran. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Now, here's Curry. 41 seconds left to play here in the fourth. At the Kleba, the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Outside, smart. And there's the pass to Roddy. Down low, Kanan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Grizzlies lead by 19. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Memphis Fox. Luke Kanan. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Hart, two shots. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Now, smart. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody have the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you. Um, every step of the way, I just let you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, so. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Ja Morant.